Welcome to our second video in our Consecration to St. Joseph series. Um, this week we're talking through days 16 to 24, giving you a little bit of a preview of these nine days coming up. And if you remember in the last video, we really talked about um, really what St. Joseph can do for our families. And um, this time we're going to really be focusing on the virtues that St. Joseph can model for us. So, Pedro, do you want to talk about what stands out for you in this? So, yeah, so when it comes to litanies, there's always a, um, there's a degree, it, it grows in degrees of importance with mm -hmm. each one. And um, I love this part of, and I, I don't know why, but this, when it ever comes to this one, because um, I pray the litany every day, and it seems like I'm more attentive mm -hmm. during this section. Mm -hmm. um, especially as a husband and a father, I want to be just, mm -hmm. you know, like I want to be, um, was it, the, so it's just, chaste, chaste prudent, prudent, courageous, obedient, and faithful. Mm -hmm. He's a righteous man. Mm -hmm. So righteousness in the biblical sense, it's that he fulfilled the commandments, the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments. Like he was a man that lived mm -hmm. in and from the Ten Commandments, right. not out of just a sense of like this obligation of du ob obligation of obligation and duty, but from a real sense of faithfulness mm -hmm. that allowed him to be just, right. chaste, prudent, courageous, and obedient. And I think for me too is like the more I reflect is like, um, and the one that's not really here, it's it's for me it's it's humility, mm. but humility presupposes all of, all of them, right? Right. right. It just I think it presupposes mm -hmm. Saint Joseph, right? That you need to be a humble man, like we talked about the mm -hmm. last is like, good Lord, you know, Son of God, right? And the new Ark of the Covenant <laughs> in your house. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How do you live with such perfection? Right? <laughs> it's just only in humility. And from that humility, he was able to be all those things. Mm -hmm. And so I really would invite all of you to allow St. Joseph to walk you through these. Mm -hmm. And not as though you're an adult. Because adults, oftentimes, we miss on these things. But as children, allow St. Joseph to show to you where the, that these are areas in your life that he that he would like to father you in, which is if you lack a sense of justice, and not only a sense of justice regarding others, but also mm -hmm. a sense of justice towards for yourself, yourself mm -hmm. right? And what does that mean? Can you talk a little? What does that mean, justice for yourself? You know, I think sometimes people think like you know, turn the other cheek is like I need to be a doormat. Mm -hmm. Nah, sometimes being just means being able to speak truth. Mm -hmm. and um, an injustice that's been committed but with truth and in love mm -hmm. and being able to deal with the consequences mm -hmm. um, I think justice is everyone receives what what is owed to them what is owed to and them and sometimes right? like, that is fraternal correction right. right and that's difficult to do mm -hmm. there was a beautiful young lady I was talking to this past week and uh and sometimes like, we have these expectations and attachments to what we think like a good Catholic family is. Mm. Mm. And she's like, if I find a husband, you know, like he's going to help my family and they're going to be like, they're going to accept him and he, it's going to be good and it's going to be like this easy process. I started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, Oh my gosh, honey. No, Have you ever heard of in-laws? <laughs> like sometimes no. there's some challenges. That's right. <laughs> And, and not only that, but if you look at St. Joseph's life, I mean, it was difficult. I mean, he lost Jesus. He had to go down to Egypt. Mm -hmm. You know, like he had to deal with the fact that Jesus is not his son, his biological son. Like, right. that, there's some difficulties there. So mm -hmm. like, but how, how does justice look like here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, how does justice look like here? And that even within marriage, there's a sense of chastity that mm -hmm. needs to be mm -hmm. lived out the prudence to be able to act well and rightly within right. a relationship. Right. Um, 
something I always, my wife and I are really big on is, is we're never going to like scream at each other, you know, and it's that anytime a challenge comes up, there's a sense of detachment, a sense of calmness, and, and, and we're level-headed to be able mm -hmm. to approach the subject in a way that's going to be prudent. Work through it, right. Right? Mm -hmm. And that takes courage. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Because sometimes the person's not ready to receive. Mm -hmm. So there's been, you know, there's been a few days, like two days go by, like without addressing the issue because we're not in a place to receive mm -hmm. yet. And that takes obedience. Obedience, humility. Which right? obedience from mm -hmm. the Latin word is to listen. Oh, I didn't know that. That's so to listen to the other mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. is to exercise obedience to mm -hmm. and reverence towards their their being and their mm -hmm. personhood. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what St. Joseph was really good at, is his ability to, to listen. Right. And then from that place of obedience, he was able to be faithful, mm -hmm. to act well. He heard, right. he understood, and he did it right away. Mm -hmm. There wasn't that sense of hesitation. Right. So I think what St. Joseph is trying to teach us is to cultivate like this inner silence where we're able to receive the virtues of Christ. Mm -hmm. The very prayer, the collect for the Sacred Heart, the solemnity of the Sacred Heart is, Lord, clothe our hearts with your virtues. Then mm. I think that's what St. Joseph allows, disposes us to, right. to receive is the clothing of mm -hmm. the virtues of Christ. Because mm -hmm. if you look at this, it's like Jesus exercised the same virtues in his own ministry with right. others. Right, yeah. So you recommend that we picture ourselves as children in the holy house, looking at the models of our parents. That's right. Right. And saying, like, where am I lacking? Mm -hmm. You know, where do I need to exercise courage and, and ask for these virtues? Right. And to be obedient and then to act on them with mm -hmm. faith, mm -hmm. as St. Joseph mm -hmm. did. And without hesitation. That's right. That's the trick. That's right. <laughs> so the last three are mirror of patience, lover of po poverty, and model of workmen. Um, I can tell you when I was going through this that the, the whole model of workmen um, was really important to me. And um, just kind of thinking about, okay, St. Joseph obviously had to earn a living yeah. for his family. Um, extremely important. But yet he was so attentive. I mean, to be all of these things, to be prudent, courageous, obedient, faithful. I mean, you know that he put Mary and Jesus first in his life, yeah. right? And so just that balance that he offers, I think, is something that was very attractive to me. Did you ever watch the movie Ben-Hur? Yeah, a long time ago. It's so good. Uh -huh. It's so good. Y'all should watch that with your families. I mean, it's just a phenomenal movie. I rewatched it a f like a few weeks back, okay. or a few like a month ago, two months ago, and um, and there's this beautiful scene in the beginning of the movie where um, the Roman soldiers or are uh, no, no, they're coming in. No, they're I don't remember. <laughs> they don't remember correctly, but like I think they're coming in. But Saint Joseph is in the shop working. Mm. And one of the people that live within that within their little town like comes up. He's like, "Where's your son?" He was like, "Oh, he's out walking somewhere." And um, mm -hmm. he's like, well, "He should be here with you, like helping you finish the projects." And and Saint Joseph, with his, it kind of like, gives that smile. He's like, "He is working." Mm -hmm. But Saint Joseph, he didn't understand. He didn't like his understanding of work wasn't just mm -hmm. manual labor, right? Right. But there is that contemplative work. Mm -hmm. that his son was doing that people don't understand and that he was willing to protect wow. that work wow. and to help people kind of like rethink or reframe mm -hmm. the way they saw the spiritual life. What is the work that we're meant to do in the world? That's it doesn't right. mean a paid job all exactly. the time, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's something that St. Joseph's helps us like reorient our, re our work to the spiritual life. Hmm. How is my work building the kingdom? Mm -hmm. I think that's how he's the model of workmen. Mm -hmm. Is that our work is not just nine to five. Right. But it goes beyond that. Is that it is in building a just and loving society. Right. Like through the gifts that God has given you. Yeah. Nice. 
All right, so next time we're going to be looking at days 25 through 33 and taking us into the home stretch. Um, so any closing remarks? Patience mm. and poverty. Mm. We're very fortunate here at, you know, Carroll County. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. we're, we need to live a life of simplicity. Mm -hmm. I would say is like, um, this consecration ought to help all of us reflect on what are the things that we need to get rid of in our lives that are taking way too much space mm -hmm. and not, not, you're not helping us have an encounter with Christ. Right. One of the things that my, um, I was really proud of my brother. I mean, he's an aerospace engineer uh, for Gulfstream, so he mm -hmm. makes really good money and um, I was talking to him and I just gave a men's retreat and he was there and I was talking to him one on one. He's like, Pedro was like, I, know, I really hope that I can build a home that I can invite other people to experience the hospitality of God. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, because he doesn't see his money as just for him and his family, right, right. but he sees it as an opportunity for his home to be mm -hmm. an extension of the parish. Because mm -hmm. he knows That's he's been nice. blessed, yeah. right? Yeah. And that for him is poverty, mm -hmm. is in giving mm -hmm. and providing mm -hmm. his resources mm -hmm. so that others can experience good food, good hospitality. Right. And another way that they made space for that, and I think it gave the opportunity for this to kind of be more crystallized within his life was my brother built an altar at his home at my mom and dad's house. And so Marcus brought it to his wife and and they, my dad, my, my brother was able to realize is like, you know, in our, in our living room, we worship the TV. Oh. <laughs> so then he took down a TV mm -hmm. and they built a prayer altar wow. instead. Mm -hmm. And now he's building bookcases. Mm -hmm. And um, so he's making, he's getting rid of the mm -hmm. access. Mm -hmm. And he is like covering his, his home with simplicity to make mm -hmm. more space so that him and his family can encounter God. Right. You know what was neat? My nephew came downstairs like, guys, come over here. So like he led the whole family upstairs. He's like, look at my altar. Aww. So then he built a little altar in his room <laughs> for, his, for him and his brothers. And then my goddaughter built one in her room. Mm -hmm. It's just like the little effects. Right. Where you made space in the right. family. Right. You made space in the lives of the individuals that are there. Yeah, that's nice. That's really beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so that goes within like that patience too, because right. it's it takes time. It took six months for my brother to get my sister in law there. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was sure. a six month process of patience. Mm -hmm. But now it's here, and she's able to see the fruits right. within her children, Through which is really family. beautiful. Because she's mm -hmm. a convert, so this is mm -hmm. kind of like mm -hmm. a little foreign to her. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, so I'll say is like, what are the things that Saint Joseph, you know, is wants to get rid of? externally and internally to make more spray and space mm -hmm. for the encounters with Christ within your own life. Right. Right. That detachment. That's right. Mm -hmm. How's that? Good stuff. Awesome. So when are we going to see him again? All right. So um, next time we're going to talk about days 25 through 33 and take you into the home stretch and, um, Persevere. Good stuff. Yeah, keep reading. Keep keep every single day. I remember that was a rough stretch right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's a rough stretch. Mm -hmm. yeah. But persevere. It's so good. So worth it. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. St. Joseph. Great things. Mm -hmm.